Hi, thanks for joining me today. This video is going to focus on the muscles in the back of our body. These are important core muscles. Sometimes when we think of exercising or working our core, we just think of the front of the body, but the back of the body is just as important when we are talking about core muscles and it has a tendency to be a little overstretched and weak and tight. So we're going to, again, focus a little bit on the back of the body today. So you won't need any special props, just your yoga mat, or if you're at home, just carpeted surface would be fine. We're gonna do a little warm up to warm up the muscles along the spine. So let's come to all fours, come to table pose. So spread your fingers wide with your wrists right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath the hips. Think of drawing the lowest ribs towards the hips so we're engaging those core muscles to start with, lengthen through the crown of the head, gaze a little bit out in front of the hands, so we're not letting the head drop down to start with, and just take a few breaths here, just focus on how your body feels as you gently breathe in and out of the nose. Think of, as you breathe, think of the breath expanding front sides and back of the body. back, lengthen the front of the body, take the gaze forward and up, and then as you exhale, press into the hands and the feet, round the spine, knees towards the belly button, as you arch the back up towards the ceiling or sky, so keep that going with the breath, inhale, sending the sit bones back, into our cow pose, nice length in the front of the body, and then pressing into the hands and the feet as you round the spine, feeling that stretch in the back of the body, so again, keeping this going, warming Inhale, come back to neutral, back to your table pose, and then exhale, round the spine, fold all the way back to a child pose, hips towards the heels, forehead towards the mat, and we're going to keep moving, press into the hands and the feet, and come back up to that table pose. So do that a couple more times. Deeper flexion, a little bit deeper stretch for the lower back. Exhale, and Go two more times like that. Exhale. and then inhale, come all the way back up. Now bring the hands in front of the shoulders. Still think of pressing into the fingertips and the base of the knuckles, curl the toes under, lift the knees, send your sit bones up and back, come to a bent knee, downward facing dog. So stay on the toes, knees bent, nice length again in the spine, crown of the head lengthening towards the hands, sit bones reaching up and back. You can pedal through the feet here a little bit if you'd like, pressing down through one heel, get a nice stretch on the back of that leg, switch to the opposite side, nice and slow. And then coming even with the knees back to the legs straight, your option, we're going to lift towards the hands, we're going to engage our core front and back a little bit here, warming up those muscles, bring the shoulders over the wrist, press back through the heels, come to a plank pose, make sure the don't sag down and then draw the lower belly in and up, sit bones up and back, come back to that downward facing dog. So do that a couple times with your breath and come forward and exhale, sit bones up and back. You can always do this with the knees down to the mat, bringing the shoulders over the wrist and then come back to your modified plank pose with the knees down, your option. One more time. And this time as you come up to that downward facing dog, release the knees back down to the mat and curl the toes, hold all the way back to your child pose, stay here for a few breaths this time. Good, really feel that stretch in the back, feel that breath moving into the back of the body. And then from here we're going to come onto our bellies. 
So extend the arms all the way in front, legs all the way behind you. Arms overhead, palms to the mat or off the mat if they are off the mat. Press into the palms, press into the tops of the feet, feet hip distance apart. If you press the tops of the feet down, you may feel the kneecaps lift a little bit off the mat. So as you inhale, lift the right leg up. It doesn't have to be high. Just think of lifting and reaching the toes back behind you. And then if you'd like, you can lift the opposite arm also. The forehead can stay on the mat or you can lift the head slightly, but just keep the gaze straight down. And then exhale, lower everything back down. Press into the hands and the feet. Now lift the left leg and the right arm. And again, head can stay lifted or lowered your option and lower down. So we're gonna keep going alternating sides here. If it does not feel good for your back to lift the arm, just lift one leg and leave the hand on the mat. So inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, opposite side, so left leg, right arm, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, right leg, left arm, and exhale, lower. And again, always the option just to lift the legs and keep the arms on the mat. So getting this diagonal movement of these muscles in the back of the body. Do one more time each side. Make sure you're moving with your breath. Inhaling and lifting and exhale lower. Now just let the arms come comfortably by your side. Turn the head to the side. Take a breath or two. Just let everything relax, let the hips relax, maybe even a little jiggle of the hips. And bring the forehead again back to the mat. So this time we're going to bring the arms into a cactus position. So the elbows are bent, fingertips reaching towards the tops of the mat. And initially the shoulders are just kind of relaxed towards the front of the mat or relaxing down towards the mat. Now draw the shoulder blades together. You feel the front of the shoulders lift away from them. And press into the feet, energy in the arms. Inhale, lift the forehead, the upper chest in the arms. And then exhale and lower back down. So again, press into the feet, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. So keep that going. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, lower. So strengthening the muscles, back of the body. Inhale, lifting. Really press into the feet. Exhale, lower. Good. Two more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Once more. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, lower. Same thing. Look your arms relax comfortably by your side turn your head to the side take a breath again maybe a little jiggle of the hips if your lower back's feeling a little tight turn the head the opposite direction nice deep inhale and exhale and then bring the forehead again back down to the mat so this time bring your hands down beside your hips so palms to the mat Thumbs are pointing to the outside, pinkies in. Again, shoulders just kind of roll towards the mat, forehead to the mat. Now, pressing into the feet, press into the hands, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. You feel the front of the shoulders lift up. Now this time we're gonna keep the hands on the mat, lift the head and the upper, the shoulders and the upper chest, and then lift the legs if that feels good for your back. If not, keep your feet on the mat. Exhale, lower down. So press into the, palms, press into the feet, inhale, lifting the head, the shoulders and the feet, and then exhale, lower down. So keep that going. Inhale, lifting up, really press into the palms, exhale, lower down, press into the feet, the hands, draw the shoulder blades together, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. So this time, let's stay lifted, a couple breaths, inhale, see if you can lift a little higher, and exhale, release, inhale, see if you can lift a little higher. Good, one more time, inhale, and then exhale, let everything go, same thing, arms relax by your side, turn the head to the side, maybe again that little jiggle of the hips. Take a full breath, breathe into the whole torso. Turn the head the opposite direction, full deep breath, front sides back of the body. And then bring the forehead again back to the mat. So this time we're gonna bring the feet wide, so pointing towards the outside edges of your mat, the arms wide towards the outside edges of the mat. So press into the palms, press into the feet. We're gonna inhale, lift the arms and the legs, 
As you exhale, you're gonna bend your elbows towards your waist as you bring the feet together. And then inhale, extend everything back out to that nice X shape. And then inhale, hug the elbows towards the waist, bending the elbows, feet together. Inhale, extend everything forward like we're flying. Exhale. And inhale. Good, a couple more times. Exhale. You can always do this if you need to keep your forehead on the mat, you can keep the forehead on the mat. You can also, again, modify by keeping, you know, just doing the legs or just doing the arms. Good, one more time. Inhale, and then this time as you come, bring everything together, lay on the hands on the mat, bring the feet down. And again, turn the head to the side, give a little jiggle to the hips. Take a deep, full breath, inhale. And exhale. And then turn the head the opposite direction. Inhale. And exhale. And then let the forehead come back to the mat. Bring the hands beside the chest. Press into the feet. Hug the elbows in towards the ribs. Imagine your elbows are drawing down towards your heels. Inhale, lift up to a low cobra. Couple breaths here. Really press into the feet. Draw those shoulder blades towards the spine. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And then slowly lower the forehead back down, press into the hands, inhale, come up to table pose, wrist under the shoulders, find neutral first. So we'll start to take our spine and bring it back to that neutral position. So again, we were in that front extension for those that series. So now finding neutral in the table pose. And now exhale, round the spine, come to a cat pose for a few breaths. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the body. And then as you take your next inhale, send your sit bones back, lengthen through the front of the body, find that cow pose. And then exhale again to your cat pose, again just bringing some movement back into the body. Inhale and exhale. And then come back to that neutral table pose. Bring the hands in front of the shoulders. Press into the fingertips. Send your sit bones up and back. Come to a downward facing dog. Either knees bent or legs straight or pedaling the feet. But feel that nice, again, length and stretch through the spine. Deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Gently bring the knees back down to the mat. Bring the big toes together. Bring the knees towards the outside edges of the mat and the hands towards the outside edges. Send your hips back towards your heels. Come to a wide knee child pose for a few breaths here. A nice length and stretch for the back of the body. A little release for the inner and the outer thighs too. Noticing how you how you feel. Notice your breath. And then very gently let your eyes open. And thank you so much for joining me today. So that sequence again focused on strengthening the muscles in the back of the body, and that fairly short sequence is something that you can um, repeat like or add it to another video that focuses on the front of the body core work or even the sides of the body we have some of those videos up too last week we focused a little bit on all parts front sides and back so again thanks for joining me today and i hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the